wife of Pastor Hafa Babatunde Sotobiri has narrated our day in the hands of the Department of State Service, DSS. When they were looking for the missing child, Gold Kolawale, she said the men of the DSS even searched all her pines just because they are looking for the missing child. The wife of the embattled pastor, who was sentenced to life imprisonment some days ago for his involvement in the kidnapping of a little boy in his church last November, told BBC Yoruba that she is sure that her husband did not know anything about the missing child. Bishola, who was sober during the interaction with the BBC, said there is an hidden secret concerning the judgment on his on her husband and five other uh, workers in the church. She said her husband did not did all he can to find the missing child, but all proved abortive. You will recall that one year old child, Goat Kolawale, got missing in Pastor Babatunde Sotobire's church last year, November, which attracted a lot of reactions from Nigerians across the country. Till now, the boy has not been found, but the pastor and five workers in the church has been sentenced to life imprisonment for their involvement in the disappearance of the little child. Meanwhile, most Nigerians who have reacted to this were like the judgment the High Court of uh, Undo uh, gave to Afa Babatunde was not fair enough since there is no evidence to prove that this man actually kidnapped or had anything to do with the missing child. Why some friend at that co uh, comment saying that the pastor calling himself, knowing too well that he's a man of God, he should prove it by asking God to tell him where the child is. All right. Uh, I will take the reactions one after uh, the other. But before then, let's, let me just add this. I don't know waiting uh, DSS is going to look for on that pint. Eh? What are they searching for that pint? Now inside pint, the missing child day. <laughs> this is really shocking and funny. Yeah, like what I said last week when I uh, I posted a video too concerning this uh, pastor Alpha I I said I said that uh, this uh, Alpha Babatunde case has taught so many persons lessons. You understand? Those people that are ready to learn, they will learn from this Afa Babatunde case. As in, you know how you talk to people, the way you talk, how you address people, the way you see yourself. This is the statement that sent her husband to life in prison. If you come through the right channel and beg me to pray, I will pray and we will see the missing child. Hope, <laughs> hope all of us should just watch our mouth next time. Because anything you say eh, can be used against you. These statements carry different and uh, many meanings. But the odd meaning was chosen to send him to prison when no evidence is available. There was no evidence that this man actually had hands in the disappearance of God Kolawale, because up to now, God Kolawale has not been found. But the way we react when things happen, the way we talk, the way we see ourselves matters a lot. This is exactly what took Afa Babatunde to life imprisonment. What a word. I feel for him, even those ones people will say, if he's a man of God, uh, let him see, let, let him, let God see, uh, show him where the child is hiding. See, <laughs> nobody's above problem, nobody's above uh, temptations, nobody's above tribulations. If you want to come, it comes. If this man handles is pure, 
over the disappearance of God, Kolawale, God will eradicate him. But if you know nothing, but if you know something about this, he will rot it there. That is it. You don't play God. If he's not guilty, <laughs> he will rot in there. But if his hand is pure, you will see how God will do this thing and those man will come out. That is it. Then those people or whatever were well, what they did, the the shame will not be for the devil. So he should continue to pray. If he is sure of himself, that is pure. You know nothing about God color or late disappearance. God will vindicate him one day. But if you know something, God will still come more than this on him. You understand? So that is just what I want to add to this. Okay, someone said here, yeah, if the boy has not been found dead or alive, how come they sentenced the prophets and five others to life imprisonment? I suspect set up here. However, if the prophet is a true man of God and also an innocent, the Almighty God will vindicate him and all others being locked up right now. Okay, someone said, uh, hmm, Is your pine so big that you can hide a little old boy in it? He asked a question. Are you sure the DSS searched your pine to find the missing boy in your pines? Anyway, the truth is known to God. If actually your husband is innocent, God will save him. But if your husband has been used, has been using God's name to perpetrate evil in the secret, God will punish him the more. All right. Someone said here, yeah, if a child is declared missing and the suspect we are giving life imprisonment, what we what punishment should be given to kidnappers? All right. So hello guys, I'm gonna drop it here for now. What's your view on this? Kindly leave your opinion below the comment box. Thank you very much for always stopping by.